Howdy TPD Dale fans and happy What Wednesday. I'm just going to jump right into it. Today I'm asking what is Ganoderma butt rot? And I'm sure some of you mushroom fanatics out there are probably just like, yes, Ganoderma butt rot! But if you're not one of those, I really hope that you enjoy this information. Ganoderma is a soil-borne, wood-rotting basidiomycete fungus that infects roots and root flares, or better known as tree buttresses, and once the fungus is established, it forms a fruiting body called a conch, like the images that are shown here. This is a spongy, whitish, mushroom-like growth which grows to form a horizontal disc extending out from the bark. And this fungus will not die until it is fat and happy, which means it is finished consuming the entire tree. Now that's a big badonka conk. Trees affected by Ganoderma butt rot eventually lack vigor and demonstrate lemon branch dieback throughout the tree canopy, reduced leaf size, and often yellowing or wilting of leaves. However, it is also not uncommon for the fruiting structure of Ganoderma to develop on root flares or butts of trees with healthy crowns because trees that are generally healthy appear to be able to tolerate a significant level of infection, or at least until one half of the root system is involved. First and foremost, danger of infection can be reduced by keeping the tree happy and healthy. Secondly, avoid damage to tree trunks and roots, which Mechanical wounding can include nicks from mowers and trimmers, root and or soil disruption. Thirdly, select varieties that would be better suited to your site and environment. The infection generally moves slowly within the tree and may be compartmentalized or walled off by the tree if it is otherwise in good health. However, if your tree does get infected by Ganoderma, here are a couple suggestions to help you mitigate its effects. You can start by improving general tree vigor through careful irrigation scheduling, judicious fertilization, and efforts to maintain a high percentage of healthy leaf canopy. Secondly, you can practice sanitation pruning by removing any dead or damaged limbs. Thirdly, remove trees that exhibit conks on the lower trunk and exposed root areas. If there is evidence to suggest the trunk has lost its structural integrity, tree removal should be highly considered to avoid damage to property of life should the tree blow over. This tree has Ganoderma butt rot and has not been removed from the landscape yet. And if it were to take on some heavy winds, the SUV to the left of it would undergo considerable damage. I hope you found Ganoderma as interesting as I did. Um, other than that, I hope that you have a fun and safe weekend before Halloween. Ooh, and I will see you next week. Bye.